Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, beeswax from Soul Forums. So, uh, Six Element Engineering sent me a turbo intake <clears throat> for, I believe it's for the 1.6 Forte Turbo. I have the uh, 1.6 Turbo Soul, and we're going to do a test fitment today and just kind of a little um, video on how to get it installed. Thanks for watching. Send your comments below. So, a good rule of thumb is anytime you do any kind of work uh, on your vehicle, Disconnecting the negative battery terminal is always a good idea. You know, yes, it resets your uh, your stereo settings and everything like that, but it, it, every time you're going to change any kind of airflow or anything, you want your computer and uh, the mass airflow sensor, which I know is not connected to the, the turbo because that's part of the, the, um, the intake, not the turbo inlet. Uh, you want to recalibrate for the new airflow. So uh, that's the first thing I'm going to do is uh, disconnect. And then what we're going to do is we'll be taking out this uh, stock air box. Here's the stock intake uh, turbo inlet pipe connected to the turbo, of course, is right down there. And uh, Six Element Engineering did a really good job of giving the, uh, the coupler, the reducer, um, and uh, any other parts that are needed. So we're gonna go ahead and start disassembly. All right guys, so I have removed the stock air box. It's all open up inside now. I removed the turbo inlet pipe. Sorry if I'm a little out of breath. I am in Houston and it's hot as Hades out here. So the PCV valve hose needed a little bit of uh, convincing to get off. So I had to use a flathead screwdriver to pry that off. Same with the uh, recirc hose. Um, Still undecided on if I want to plug that up and uh, or how exactly I'm going to go ahead and do that. But um, next off is to take these fittings off the turbo inlet and uh, I'll show you on the next clip. All right, so here's a test fitment just so you can see how everything fits. This uh, intake pipe fits absolutely perfect. Um, no complaints. The coupler is in great position coming off the turbo inlet. Here's the pipe filter uh, they did supply a uh, true authentic AEM uh, an oil free filter which I was very surprised with the uh, PVC mount fits perfectly where it's supposed to uh, of course I still have this recirc valve and uh, I will figure out if I'm going to plug that or what I'm going to do so uh, stay tuned so for a little bit more this, oh, by the way, this mounting bracket right here, they do supply, and there's two different brackets that I got. This fits into the stock airbox mounting uh, location, and it's a perfect fit. So uh, great job, guys. Uh, I'm going to see if I can wrap up this install here in a little bit and see what we got. All right, so we've got the turbo inlet pipe installed. Uh, excellent fitment. You can see that there's a little bit of space between the positive battery housing right there and the uh, intake pipe PCV fits perfectly air filter fits perfectly but I still have this little bugger and this right here is the recirculating so I know if I don't plug it into the intake it'll basically vent to atmosphere like a blow-off valve um, because that's what it does it recirculates uh, compressed air or uh, air coming from the intercooler back into the uh, turbo inlet so uh, this particular piping does not have the, um, the recirculating uh, plug, which would fit, you know, right around here somewhere, somewhere like that. So I still don't know if I'm going to go ahead and plug it off or how I'm going to do that. But um, let's go ahead and start her up and make sure I have no check engine lights, and which I shouldn't because there's nothing monitored out of here. But uh, here we go. All right, so we've got everything installed. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. No reason for a check engine light because again, this is monitor. This is not metered uh, air coming through here. Turn my AC on a little bit. It's a little hot in my car. And let's give it a little gas and see what happens. Oh, very nice. So I definitely have a blow off from that recirc valve, which is pretty neat. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Let me see if I can get a better sound clip here. That's pretty neat. Let me go under the hood and uh, just to show you how everything's running.
So everything's running perfectly and smoothly. Everything fits wonderfully. Remember this right here is the reset hose so that uh, that blow off you hear is coming straight out of this pipe right here. You might just tuck that down inside here a little bit to where it's kind of tucked and not up ahead. And uh, well, successful install. I'm very happy with it. Uh, let me button it back up, put the engine cover back on. Uh, hopefully it fits without any modifications and I'll go drive it around the block and see what I think. And engine cover fits perfectly. I do plan on installing a catch can on this, so I think what I'll do is I'll probably mount it right over here and run the pipes through. So let's go take a first step. So I'm not the type of guy who shoots video while driving, but uh, this is with all the windows up. I do have the AC running and you can hear the intake. So here it is. Not sure if you can hear that. Driver's side window down. It actually sounds like a turbo car now. All right, guys, so uh, my thoughts, great intake, super easy install. Uh, sounds great. Uh, I'm building boost faster, uh, quicker. Um, if you want to say, I'm also hitting max boost in my little turbo soul. Um, really around 3,000, anywhere between like maybe 2,700 and 3,300, uh, which is a lot sooner than it was on the stock intake that was very, very restrictive. Uh, big kudos goes out to uh, Six Element Engineering. You guys have done a great job with this intake. I know it's not for my car, but it fits like it should be. Uh, the only thing that uh, I would probably change would to be add the uh, recirc um, uh, fitting onto it. Uh, I mean, it's cool, you know, to hear the uh, vent atmosphere on it. Uh, I'm sure it might get annoying after some time, but I think I can deal with it. But anyways, great job, guys. The fitment is uh, excellent. Um, I do plan on removing uh, this uh, turbo intake and I'm going to uh, get it coated red uh, instead of the black um, because I do have a theme going on but the black actually looks pretty good so uh, catch can install is going to be next I might tackle that next week but uh, anyways guys thanks for watching hopefully this video wasn't too boring for you uh, very simple install on a level of uh, between zero and five, five being the hardest, I would say this level of difficulty was maybe a two. Um, I've done this before also, it doesn't take any, it just takes simple tools. Uh, used a pair of pliers, Phillips head screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket. Um, that was really about it. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Uh, this is Beeswax and uh, happy tuning.